but that's when things are not working that's when heaven is more happier people why look at my life listen God know when to show up He knows when to show up. What is your attitude when things refuse to work the way you planned it? How is your commitment in the church? How you still take the pray? Things you used to do for God, will you still do it when the unexpected happens? Jehovah Buchine ke onye nefe riboti to mi wakaka Mata, when I, when I look at this scripture Mata, who, who said I have chosen the best part I love the word of God but the master show up Have you know, even at times it don't happen to men of God some people will tell the word of God because of little things that happen when they, they will forget, delete you completely. Even when you see them for road, you greet them. My daughter. Man of God, that means you know they happen. You see, attitude will change. Listen. You know, I, Isaiah 30, I mean 40, 31 say, they that wait upon the Lord. That place is talking about being patient. Now listen. Patient, the way I describe patient, is keeping good attitude while waiting. As an usher, for example, God didn't do that in now, now. And there is a little delay. Will you still be active in your position? In the women's fellowship, in the prayer band. One of my daughter came one day near the husband. He said, Pray for us. You they pray for people, they born. Pray for I asked him, I said, You want children? He was angry. He said, My pastor, are you asking me? I said, Let me ask you. Do you want children? She was offended. But you know, many times, God, our miracles at times delayed because of our attitude. You didn't hear me. Listen, and I brought in a guru. He bachara yamba ega kui he anabare zimba. He bachara yamba igeti he anabare zimba. Somebody shout hallelujah! Finally, no matter what is happening, keep praying. Listen, you have prayed and nothing has happened. Continue with your prayer. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. Any moment from now, the miracle will show up. I don't like your amen. Now listen, I one of my son in the Lord. Every July, like two days ago, I think on Monday he came, he and the wife. Every first of July, they brought me gifts because my birthday is always July. They have been doing that for many years. So this man, they came on Monday. I said to them, I said, I thank God for your faith. And I reminded them where the journey started. Because when they came, the early stage when they came, the woman was pregnant when they joined us. So I could remember that. I can't forget that. They came to see me on counseling section. While we are talking, I wanted to pray. The Lord told me that this woman is carrying a dead child. And she didn't know that the baby had died long ago. So I asked the woman, I said, when did you went to see the doctor? When did you see your doctor last? He said a few days ago that she went to Antinet. I said, no, you go back. So I told the man, I said, I saw where they gave you a dead child and you are arguing. The man said, no, 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 I reject it. I said, 
carry this woman to go to hospital. Now, I'm still in the hospital, I'm in the church because they saw me around 9 10. I said, I'll be in the church if evening. If you finish, come back. They went back to the same doctor. They saw the doctor. Doctor, check the baby, check the breathing of the child, and send them to scan. And they asked, he was asking the man, Why did you come? He said, We went, he now told him, yeah, We went to see our pastor. Look at what he said. He, he, he said, We should come and see you again. He said, The doctor said, He was shocked because he knew that the wife had been coming for Antinata. And they went to scan. They discovered that the baby had died long ago. When the doctor saw the scar, he was confused. He was ashamed of himself that this woman had been coming and he couldn't dictate this. When he came back to church, I said, Rush, help this woman because the devil wants to use what is on ground to take her life. So I prayed for her. They went to see the doctor. They did evacuation and it was successful. First child. You know how painful it is? But when that is finished, they came back to me. I encouraged them. I shared the word of God, gave them. I said, because you don't have it now, does not mean it will not happen. It will still happen. God can still replace what you lost. What matters is your faith. Don't allow what happened now to shake you. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So after encouraging them, and I love that couple. They followed. You would notice that something happened. That didn't affect their faith. They continued. And one of the services, the Lord said, I should pray. And I called the husband and said, after service, we are going to join faith. Let's see what God will do. Less than three months, the first son came somewhere. And after a while, the daughter came. They had two, girl, two children, now a boy and a girl. And that time, now, do you know the worst part of it that time? The man was not doing anything. He was still thinking of what to do. But today, God has blessed him. So, I was asking the man. The man started crying. I said, many times when I remember this, not just what God has done for you, but that attitude when the challenge was on ground is what moved God. Keeping good attitude while you are still waiting. Who they mock you, let them mock you. The Bible says, he that mocked the poor reproaches his maker. Anybody who is using what you are going through to mock you, they are mocking your God, and God will answer them. I didn't like your amen. And listen, I am here to announce to you, it will not be long, miracle will happen. And if you can continue serving the Lord, the miracle will be fast. If you can receive revival, the miracle will be fast. Shower eyes. your feet now listen you are in this meeting you know that what you are going through it's true. this is a solution with but you know it that what you are going through is shaking your faith you are not that strong as you used to be run to the altar ask God you know it even though you are still doing something for God but not active as you are don't wait for anybody I'm talking to somebody you know it that what you are going through is shaking your faith run to the altar tell God refill me back restore my courage restore my strength restore me Restore me, give me strength, give me strength. Where he can't get away by Mume, where he can't get away by Mume, where he can't get away by Mume, Chineke, where he can't get away by Mume. It could be even this economy shaking you left and right. The enemy trying to bring shame around for people who didn't know how you stand to not say things nowhere. Tell him, Lord, I come back to you. I need strength. I need strength.